How's everybody doing out there? Um, I'm making this video because I received a brand new quadcopter for Christmas from my wife and I've been having tons and tons and tons of fun with this thing flying it around the inside of my house causing all kinds of havoc with the animals and my son and of course the wife anyways she probably regrets it by now but uh, I was looking online and I saw a lot of reviews um, those reviews were some were, were great some were not so great um, the bad reviews I noticed that the majority of them were complaints about sinking um, the sinking the remote control to the quadcopter um, saying that it wouldn't sink or that it didn't sink correctly um, I have to admit that the instructions are rather vague um, I did figure out the correct way to sink this particular quadcopter this is the protocol streamline quadcopter um, there's two things I want to discuss in this video uh, the first one is strictly the sinking aspect the correct way to sync this and possibly other protocol uh, quadcopters as well but this is the only one I've ever owned from them so I'm not quite sure on that fact um, however if uh, if it does happen to work for other types of protocol uh, quadcopters if you would post in the comments um, to let other people know that this would work for those as well um, the other thing I wanted to, to touch base on in this video is uh, is the propellers um, there are four obviously it's why it's a quadcopter um, the main um, thing about these is they are bi-directional. Um, the motors only go one direction, but two of them go one direction, two of them go the other direction. So it's very important if you break one of your propellers, or two of your propellers, to replace them with a propeller that is facing the same direction as the first one that you had to replace. Um, unfortunately, I made the mistake of replacing two of my propellers with the wrong ones. I made the assumption that they all went the same direction um, as far as uh, the shapes of the propeller blades, but I was incorrect. It took me a moment to figure that out, but I figure I'll save some people the problem of running into changing the wrong propellers out and then having a non-flying quadcopter like I did. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug in this quadcopter and we'll get it sinking. <coughs> So you'll notice when it's first plugged in, you have a quick flashing of the LEDs. They don't really flash together. Um, one of the keys when you're syncing this particular quadcopter is to ensure that it's on a flat surface while it is being synced. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and turn it around here so that the LEDs are facing us so we can see them a little better. You'll notice a fast flashing of those LEDs. I currently have the remote off. Let's see if I can get a good angle here. The remote is turned off currently. The throttle is in the all the way on or all the way accelerated position. I'm in the minus um, speed, the lower speed of the two speeds this comes with. Uh, mostly because I'm indoors right now. Um, the first step obviously is to turn this on. If your throttle is in the full on position, the LEDs on the quadcopter will discontinue blinking and you'll have a slow blink on your remote here. Your next step is to bring your throttle all the way to the bottom left corner. You will then have a single beep. You're going to hold that in that bottom left corner LED on the remote is solid. You're then going to bring the directional or turning throttle to the far right bottom corner. You will then see the LEDs on the quadcopter flashing quickly again until I release and center the turning or directional throttle. Then the LEDs have stopped let go of the throttle so it's in the lowest position and you're ready to fly. <laughs> 